Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning prep video for April 6th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday those bulls came out in force printing fresh new highs in the diamonds and the spiders. Um, QQQ had a really great day rallying yesterday, still, still challenged by some overhead resistance. But we had a very good bullish run yesterday. What was interesting is there were some contradictions in the market yesterday. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink. Let's settle in. Let's see if we can make some sense out of this. Looking at the technicals of the chart and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. Let's take a look at these markets. Um, really bullish move yesterday. In response to the uh, Friday jobs number, um, we really surged um, upward and there was a considerable amount of energy considering or trying to suggest recovery is underway here in the United States. And that may be the case, but we had this really weird contradiction yesterday. We'll talk about that in just a second. If we take a look at the diamonds though, there's um, no mistaking the bullishness here in the chart. Diamonds very, very bullish, depending on where you draw a trend, we are extremely bullish. I will have her say that we move so far so fast that I wouldn't be surprised if we get a rest or a pullback of some kind. And what we're looking at this morning is Dow futures are actually showing a little bit of a pullback here this morning um, in the pre-market. <clears throat> Just kind of, uh, well, taking a little hiatus after such a big bullish move um, yesterday. So keep a close eye on that. But right now, very, very uh, comfortable chart here in the Dow. I, I, I say comfortable in the sense that um, technically we're in really good shape. Our trends are very, very strong. However, any pullback, if you notice, you know, if we were to pull back just to support, that's a pretty substantial point drop and that could be a little bit uncomfortable. So um, don't become complacent. Stay on your toes and stay focused here in um, a market that moves that big, that fast. It can also um, pull back. It can slingshot right back um, that big, that fast. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also fresh record highs yesterday, zooming to the upside. As you can see, a little bit on the stretched out side of things when we look at how far we moved, how quickly. And if we take a look at our support levels, we're in great shape on those price support levels. If I draw a trend here, both of those trends would suggest that we've moved really far, really fast and a rest or a pullback um, would seem likely in the very near future, if not beginning today. So kind of keep that in mind. Notice that we moved up all of these days just in moving up with gaps um, on those days would suggest that a little rest or pullback could come. So just be prepared for that. And just remember that when we stretch out this far this fast, um, a pullback could be rather painful. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at the Qs, now the QQQ still <clears throat> has some challenges ahead of it, but much, much better in its appearance. Notice that we are now well above our 50 day moving average. That is a great thing and a bad thing all at the same time. And what I mean by that <clears throat> is that we have, it's an all or nothing market. We either hate everything and we're running for the doors or we love everything and we're chasing in with um, every single penny we've got, apparently. And so what we're doing is we're zooming in this market. Now, of course, when we do that, we run that risk. If we were to stumble when we're racing that hard and that fast, if we were to stumble, just imagine a pullback that comes back into here, how painful that could be. And you have to recognize the fact and, and even admit it wouldn't be an odd situation after breaking above the 50 day moving, moving average to see a pullback to test that 50 day moving average. So just kind of keep that in mind when we move this hard, this fast, the slingshot move can be um, 
pretty darn painful. So just kind of keep that in mind. We also want to um, remember that although we're very, very bullish in this move, um, we still have overhead resistance here in the chart that still needs to be taken care of. So we really can't you know, sound that all clear just yet here on the NASDAQ. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM, interestingly enough, suffered a little bit yesterday. And why did it suffer yesterday with everything else looking so good? Well, <clears throat> oddly enough, the energy sector, oil sector stocks, had um, trouble yesterday. There is a concern beginning to rise with the um, pandemic number starting to increase around the country again, there is a bit of a worry starting to slip into the market that demand may soon get damaged again in that oil sector. And so we saw this decline yesterday, pushing that back down. That affected the um, the IWM pretty dramatically yesterday, um, not allowing it to rally with the rest of the market. So keep an eye on that. It's an interesting contradiction. We are racing into the indexes here, the diamonds and the spy, with this hope of market recovery. And at the same time, oil sector saying, now wait a minute, we're seeing possible demand reductions because of the increasing infection rates. I don't know what's true, but it's an interesting contradiction to make note of and uh, pay attention to. Now, we also have a little bit of a problem <clears throat> in the financials, and it may become a little bit worse today. Um, we did pop, but we popped with a little bit of weakness. We popped and then pulled back on the day. Um, running into some price resistance here in that chart. Now those financials have been holding up really, really well and showing quite a little bit of strength, but just didn't follow through all that well yesterday. And now this morning we have a problem in that Credit Suisse um, I'm reporting a $4.7 billion loss due to that hedge fund scandal. Um, we could actually see a little bit of pulling back here. Let's keep in mind, short-term trend here is still bullish. So I'm not throwing out, you know, uh, that this is just going to fall all apart. We could just rest right here. But just keep in mind, that may also have um, an effect on how the IWM performs today. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Now, here is another contradiction that I gotta say was really, really weird to see. Um, we've got the Dow and the SPY and the NASDAQ just zooming higher as if there was nothing in the world to worry about. And yet, at the same time, we saw the VIX move up yesterday. Now, what's, what's the deal with that? Why would fear be increasing as we zoom higher in the market with all of this bullish exuberance? <clears throat> kind of an interesting contradiction here going on. So we'll want to really pay attention to that. Now, what I'm going to say here is um, the way I'm trading the market, and you're going to have to decide if this works for you. But for me, I'm going to stay with the bullish trends of the market, of the indexes, but I want to be really, really cautious and careful about overtrading or becoming complacent. Um, this is that kind of market that could slingshot um, the other direction really fast. So don't become complacent. When you have some good profits in your account, it may be wise to pull some of those out or hedge some of those um, just in case we happen to rip the other direction. So watch that closely. Kind of a it's just a it's a little bit puzzling and um, we'll have to keep an eye on that um, as we progress here over the next few days watch that close let's take a look at our t2122 now our t2122 is certainly indicating a extreme overbought condition and we pushed up in fact we pushed up we were right up here early yesterday. We had zoomed all the way to the top side of this. So T2122 is really showing us that all or nothing market again, where we've zoomed back to the upside, um, really stretched this out. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean we have to cavitate or pull all the way back. What it could mean is we just need a little rest. 
um, we could consolidate and actually see enough stocks pull back that it opens up that opportunity here in T2122. So keep in mind, we are up here um, very elevated. That should be that warning sign to be careful not to chase and also that clue that maybe some profit taking uh, might be a wise thing to do. So watch that carefully as we continue. Let's also take a look at that T2101. And here's another contradiction that just makes you go, hmm, what's going on here? We saw the indexes zooming to the upside and yet our market breadth declined yesterday and we continue in this downtrend in market breadth. It's an odd situation, and um, like I say, when you combine this with what's going on in the oil sector, you combine it with what's going on in the VIX, it's a little bit, you know, the contradictions here are a little bit weird. So just make sure you stay on your toes and stay focused to that price action. Don't let greed get in the way and be careful not to chase overly extended stocks. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we do have a little bit that we wanna pay attention to here this morning. Um, we've got the job openings report. Now they're expecting good numbers in this, could help um, um, re-inspire those bulls this morning. But one thing I wanna point out is it's fairly typical, it doesn't happen all the time, but it's fairly typical um that we become a light and choppy market as we wait for that fomc now the fomc minutes i don't know the way i can't imagine we're going to learn anything more after we've just had fed speaker after fed speaker after fed speaker over the last few weeks but um let's keep in mind that that is coming and after we get through this report remember we have a very light earnings day and um, a light economic calendar day, we could become very light and choppy considering yesterday's big zooming move. Um, just a little bit of a rest and choppiness as we wait for that FOMC uh, number. So just kind of keep that in mind for today. Now, I made a mistake yesterday on the earnings calendar. Um, <clears throat> I try to be really careful on that that stuff, but doggone it, um, I looked at the wrong day. So I have to apologize, guys. Yesterday included the notable um, reports for today um, on Monday, and actually there were not any notable reports that I could pull out on Monday, and that probably uh, added to the confusion. So I apologize for that confusion. But on those notables today, we will have LNN, you might want to keep an eye on that reporting today. Um, MAXN will be reporting today, so keep an eye on that. And PAYX, um, probably the the most notable today, PAYX. Keep a close eye on that as that um, uh, reports today, how that might respond um, in the uh, pre-markets. We have nice, nice potential trades, particularly here in PAYX, a beautiful upside trend, holding above some um, um, resistance levels. So if that reports well, could be a pretty good looking chart. So with that, everyone, um, let's take a look at some stocks setting up. But before we do that, guys, a couple things I want to um, to talk about here just a second. First off, um, one of the things that I, I don't do much of is I don't talk about the service right way options. And um, I, I never wanna be that guy that's pumping a service or, or anything like that. But we have a, <clears throat> a, really, a really fun group of folks, um, a really um, active group of folks in the trading community. And what we do, and I just wanted to give you one little feature that we have. <clears throat> we have this really uh, neat app that when I place a trade, I actually post it in the app and it notifies everyone that's a member. So you don't even have to be in the trading room. You can be doing whatever you want and you get notification of of a trade that I um, have made. Not that you should blindly follow or anything like that, but you can kind of stay up to date. And also, 
what um, I'm going to start doing is putting out just some information as far as watch list stocks, things to consider throughout the day will also be included in that app. So if you're busy and you're working all day long, um, you can have that app on your phone. You can get those notifications. I just thought I would pass that along. It's kind of a neat feature that I think um, really could benefit a lot of folks that I know are still, you know, working the nine to five and uh, but would like to trade and get involved in the market. So <clears throat> with that, guys, hey, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I just want to say thanks to everyone. Yesterday I was answering comments and things. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, so if you feel like this video was worthy, please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. I'll be answering those as well. I truly, truly appreciate you guys and thank you so much. And a huge shout out to folks who took advantage advantage yesterday of the uh, buy me a coffee uh, link that's just below the title of the video. Thank you guys. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys humble me and um, I will be utilizing that money to uh, work to improve the channel here, the equipment and everything that I use. So thank you everyone. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at um, some stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys that um, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security and um, you should do your own due diligence. Make sure that you understand the risk of every trade that you take and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Now yesterday I picked up a couple of trades and a couple of trades that worked out pretty good. I picked up Cisco yesterday <clears throat> and it pushed on higher. Now I, would, I wouldn't be all surprised. And Cisco, if that needs to rest here a little bit, and particularly after such a big zooming move yesterday, that we might need a little bit of rest. But as of the close of yesterday, we have a nice little profit in Cisco. It's looking good. Let's see if that can hold in here and try to move on up. I think there's still plenty of time um, also in that trade. So keep a close eye on that. Now, please keep in mind that I'm biased because I'm in the trade. So make sure you consider the risk carefully if you decide um, Cisco is something that you want to look into. Make sure you check that out pretty carefully, okay? Also, <clears throat> take a look at this stock BMY. Now BMY, I'm, I'm also in this stock and it hasn't performed like I thought it would just yet but it hasn't failed either. And you can see that we've pushed through this resistance here in the chart and we're holding in here pretty nicely. I want to see that gain a little bit of energy and perk up. But let's keep a close eye on that. BMY might be one to watch here for the near, near future if that can get moving. Um, I got to tell you, I, I had mentioned yesterday in the morning prep video to kind of keep an eye on General Motors and wow, it just took off yesterday. Um, pop. Now be careful chasing something that's moved that far that fast. Maybe look for a little rest or a pullback in here, maybe engage that trend and then look for that opportunity. But General Motors looking very, very good yesterday, pushing up nicely. And on that same, in that same group, take a look at Ford. Now Ford needs a little bit more work here, I think. We just broke this downtrend yesterday in the chart. So now give me a little rest out here and prove that you can hold that downtrend as support. And then I might be looking at Ford again for um, a potential trade. Watch that one closely. Looking pretty good. Now I am in a trade on KHC. Now KHC has been a longer term hold for me. We entered this trade down here and you can see just zooming to the upside. I love trades like this. They're so easy to make. They're so easy to hold on to and trade because it's just just chugging right up that uh, that trend. <clears throat> Notice on the daily though we had just a little teeny tiny rest or pullback in here and we're engaging this shorter term daily trend here very very soon. So watch this in here. KHC could certainly um, gain some more ground and start working itself to the upside again. 
could be a potential re-entry into that trade. Watch that closely. I'm keeping an eye on DD here. Now, DD has struggled a little bit along this breakout. So we had a big breakout here of resistance and we're holding in here as support. We've had a little bit of choppiness, but nothing major going on here. I'm gonna be watching this now for that opportunity that this may perk out and go. So keep a close eye on DD. I like that chart. I think it could be forming up. Intel also made a really nice move yesterday, breaking through my alert. Now, I chose not to trade this one yesterday. I went ahead with the Cisco trade instead, and only because of this. We have a bigger price resistance in this chart above us and a, a, a much choppier um, chart overall. But let's keep an eye on this. If Intel can continue to hold in here, we may have to back up and do a little more consolidation in here to build the energy to pop through that resistance level. But watch that closely. I think Intel could be setting up for that potential move. And um, it's got some upside potential, so watch that closely. Um, you might also start taking a look at some stocks like um, MDLZ, MDLZ Mondelez <clears throat> pushed up really strongly here. Um, these are those dividend payers pushed up really strongly. We hit this big resistance, passed through it and pulled back. But notice we haven't really sold off all that much. We're just trying to test in here whether or not we can build that energy to push on through and hold above there. Keep an eye on Mondelez. Um, um, STZ Constellation Brands might be another to keep an eye on. Uh, TAP. TAP is a very nice chart. Um, pushing up through, and I mentioned this one yesterday, pushing up through and looking very, very good um, in the chart. Nice little hammering pattern trying to follow through today. Don't be too surprised if this has to just rest a little bit more before it really takes off. But TAP should be one that you keep an eye on. I think PepsiCo is another defensive sector stock looking pretty good. If I follow this trend, it may require a little bit more rest to come out here toward its trend, but this is a nice little break above resistance, and so far we're holding up here. So watch that closely on PepsiCo, and I'm gonna to have to add Coke to that list as well. Coke breaking through some resistance here in the chart, following to the upside once again, our current trend out here would suggest maybe a little more rest is required before we can build the energy to break this resistance. So watch that closely on Coca-Cola. Defensive sector stocks doing quite well. And last but not least, kind of in that same drink area, let's take a look at Starbucks. Now Starbucks moved on up yesterday. You can see this is one I've been paying attention to and we're continuing to kind of chug up that trend um, looking to the upside. So watch this resistance level in the chart. You notice we're getting a little bit of pre-market pullback here this morning on that, but I don't think there's anything wrong here with this chart. I keep an eye on Starbucks. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And thank you so much for, um, for all your kindness and support. The channel is growing and you guys are uh, truly, truly um, awesome. I, I really do appreciate um, all the kind things that you um, leave behind in those comments. Thank you so much. Let's, um, let's um, all settle in and let's get ready for a big day in the market. Take care of yourselves, have great profits, and we'll see you right back here bright and early. Good morning.